Well, you guys got another video here for you. Get asked this question quite a bit is on how to make your computer a lot quieter. Now, normally, if you want a silent PC, there's loads of ways of going about it. But one of the ways to tackle uh, your PC to make it quieter is your fan noise. You can see there's a lot of fans in here, and that's 54 some point something decibels here, which is pretty loud. And the reason for that is a couple of things that people tend to make a mistake on when they're building PCs. And I'm going to explain that to you in this video. So you can see here, pretty noisy. And you can see the speed of the fans. They're spinning at pretty high um, revs per minute. And that's because they are powered by a SATA cable instead of being powered by your PWM uh, port on your board. And I'll show you all of that in a second. Now, if you don't have some sort of hub or controller or you don't have them under some sort of control, they're just going to spin at their maximum revs per minute, which is going to basically keep your PC nice and cool, but it's just going to make it super loud, like an airport. So what you want to do is hop into your BIOS, and you'll see here a smart fan area. And you can see we're only using one here, and that's the CPU caller. It is in CPU optional. It should be on the CPU fan, but I explained that in my build video. That has been corrected. But basically, you can see it's being controlled uh, on just one header on the board for the CPU fan. We want to get all the system fans in there controlled by that smart fan. Now, the temperature here is pretty much 31, 32 C, which is exactly what it should be for this type of CPU. And the system temps are 24 C. So what we're going to do is rewire this to make it much more better for uh, a quieter PC and also show you how to uh, sort this out and set it up properly. So if you click on the smart fan here, basically it's not going to be able to do anything because it's not under control by the PWM setting here. We've got it set to running off of our SATA power cable on our hub, which is not what you want. You want to always run a cable to the actual motherboard so you can control it in this method. And you can use speed fan and other types of uh, software as well, unless you want to use something like the built-in option on the board, which is your uh, smart fan. So looking up the top here, you'll get your temperatures and your speed fan, and you'll get some options here to select which ones you want to check. For instance, system fan one and a bunch of other ones. And you can normally uh, configure these to whatever you like manually or automatically or whatever way you want to do it in silent mode but we can't do that at the moment because we haven't got it configured correctly and i'll show you how to do that right now uh on the back of the machine where the fan hub is and i'll explain it there so it is quite a common problem and the more fans you have uh, the more complex it's going to get and the more tricky it's going to get you might have to start daisy chaining a bunch of fans together and then you've got to be careful that you don't overload uh, the header on the board and start causing yourself problems, especially with RGB, uh, like addressable RGB and also fan headers. So let's take a look here. So on the board, you can see we've got some uh, fan headers here, which we can use. There's three of them here. On this board, there's quite a few of them, so I'm sport for choice. But some boards, when you go to choose your board, just make sure that you've got enough fan headers for all of your needs and enough RGB headers on the board if you want to use RGB. Otherwise, things are going to get start to get complicated for you, and you might have to start using fan hubs and other things like that. And that can add more money to your build. Now, if you get a case like this, it does come with a fan hub here, and you'll see there is a SATA port on here which powers the hub. But you just want to make sure that you can actually control the fans once they're plugged into here uh, through your motherboard so you can control them better. Otherwise, it's not worth using uh, some of these fan hubs because otherwise you're going to end up with running into problems. If you've got power running to this and you've got no way of controlling it, it's just going to run at full speed, and that's not what you want. So you definitely want to be able to control all of the fans. There's three in the front here, two up the top, and one at the back. So that's quite a few fans to control, and you want to make sure you're getting the right speeds for those um, for your fans. Otherwise, you're going to end up with just all them spinning at 100 percent which could be like 12 to 1500 reps per minute which is quite high and you're going to end up with a nice cool case but quite a lot of noise and also probably a lot of dust build up inside your case over time 
So let's take a look at how we can sort this out. Now there's loads of fan hubs to choose from. So I'm not going to go through how to configure a fan hub because there's so many different variables in that. But basically you need to get your fans to go to the motherboard here on the pin layout on the board. So you'll see some fan headers on the board. Um, and basically you need to plug them into those. Some might be for system pumps and some might be for uh, just main fan headers which is like system fan headers and stuff like that. They're the ones that you want to use. And they just generally put power to the fan. And then they will show up in the BIOS and allow you to control it via the uh, smart fan uh, controller in the BIOS there, which I'll show you in a second once we get back in there. So you can see it's roughly around about 18 decibels, give or take. And uh, that's quite a big, massive drop compared to what it was before. So that is just by using uh, the PWM headers on the board and it then controls it using the smart fan inside here. So we've got the CPU fan being controlled, the system fan uh, 4 and system fan pump on there. I need to change that over to the other one, which will then be system fan 5. But that's OK. It still work. And you can see here, just to get the idea out, you can see that we're controlling this in a normal fashion. Uh, you've got silent here, manual or full speed or disable. Obviously, you don't want to disable it, but you can generally see you can control all of the speed of the CPU fan right here. I can also control the system fans right here as well. And uh, basically, I can change them to whatever I like. And uh, it's now showing the fan speed and the temperature and everything else here. And I can set these to manual and I can go in here if I wanted to and move these around to whatever I like to my own settings these will kick up and speed up when the when the temperatures get higher so for instance if you're video editing or gaming or any of those things what will happen is uh, the fans will start to ramp up to the settings that you've got it set to here so you can see when it gets to 50 celsius it will go to 61 percent fan speed and you can jiggle these around to your own liking and set your own fan curve to the way you like it these are for your system fans, and you can set this up for your CPU as well. And you can generally see here uh, the fans have slowed right up. I haven't done much work on this, but generally you get the idea. And uh, basically what's going to happen is when you start to video edit or game, the fans will then start to speed up automatically or to your manual settings, depending on how you set those up. And I've made videos on that before. You can check those out. But basically what you'll get is a lot more quieter pc when you're idle and when you're gaming it will generally ramp up to 100 percent if you want it to or 80 percent depending on how you set that up so it's very simple and easy to do and you should have a much quieter pc once you get this set up right anyway with that said i just want to say a big special thanks to all my youtube members who join my youtube members group i really do appreciate the support my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and i shall see you again for another video real soon bye for now Thank you.